Welcome to Red and Black TV. I'm your host, Stoss, co-host Banana, panel heads, Bozza and Azza. Cracking boys. Come on, boys. Bro, lockdown. lockdown, brother. Lockdown FC, boys. Shout out. Shout out to uh, Lockdown. Anyone wants a friendly, bro. Lockdown FC, bro. We're there, bro. You've three. Fuck me dead, man. So, yeah, we're still on lockdown, obviously. So, we're resorting to Skype calls at the moment until she gets back to normal. But there's been a lot of movement in the transfer market at the moment for the Wanderers. So, let's get into the plays that have come in. And we'll start off, obviously, with Reese Williams. Thoughts, lads? Who's going to go first? Um, I'll just I'll, I'll start with uh, probably the most impressive signing for me is uh, Terry Antonis. Um, look, I've, I've known Terry for a long time. I remember when he used to play back in Marconi in his youth football. Uh, he's always been a, um, a very motivated player. Right? He's always been a winner. And um, his father always used to push him. So he's drilled that winning mentality into him. And if you've watched his games, he's always hustling. He's always trying to win the ball. He's got that grit, grittiness in him. So I think uh, if you look at our identity as a club, you know, what we look for in our players. I think he's going to slot straight straight into what we want as fans. I think that's a top signing, to be honest. Excellent signing. He's, he's been right. here before, so we know what he's capable of. Exactly. He's been yeah. I should what be about his actual player as a like calibre as a player? Because obviously, you know, he did uh, have a small stint with us at Wanderers um, a while back. Uh, and then he ended up going on to victory. And then he's been playing in the Korean League, if I'm correct. Um, the past few seasons. Um, obviously, he's, he's more of a CDM as an anchor. Do you think he's going to be a good uh, player to uh, replace Dorans? I don't reckon he's going to be CDM, bro. Yeah, I, I can't see him playing the six. I see him more in the eight role stuff. So. Yeah, yeah. He got, he, he's, he's steady the ship. He'll steady the ship around. He'll direct it where it's going to go yeah, and all that. He's going to be more of a box to box midfielder. Per yeah, take. more so. More so, yeah. Um, yeah. I think he's, he'd be a waste in the six. Uh, because he does have a lot of, um, you know, uh, abilities that can help us in in our front third. You know, his passing, his vision, um, his composure. He's a very composed player. And you know what? He can slot him away as well. Anywhere outside the box, he'll tuck it away, you know. Well, honestly, like, our, our, if you look at the three uh, centre mids, like, we would have uh, Antonius, ba Antonius Bacchus and Teresi Bacchus. That's, that's pretty solid. Yeah. De decent spine there we got. Yeah, honestly, yeah. And Antonis is that little bit of spark because we lose Kamau, we lose Duke. So, like, who's going to make that spark for us? And like, so in other words, we're going to say now that um, Bacchus is obviously going to drop back to the six now. Yeah, Bacchus if he stays. I if think he, Bacchus yeah. will be the six. Yeah, him or Gargovich. But that, that, that's if he stays, yeah. No, I reckon there'll be a few more signings that are coming in. No, I, this is not the end of them. Yeah, I hope not. Because uh, we need some defenders, man. Yeah. Well, obviously, look, so now, like I said before, I started off with Bruce Williams, okay? We've acquired him. Um, for me, he's a quality signing, man. He's got a lot of experience. He's played at Middlesbrough. Um, I'm pretty sure he had a good stint at Perth Glory. Then he went to Victory. And then, obviously, um, he went back overseas, and now we're bringing him back. So well, he's, been at, he's been at Saudi Arabia for the last three years, El, uh, a team called El Qadzia. Um And look... The Saudi league isn't shit, man. Mm. You know, they've, they've they've excelled as a league. There's a lot of quality plays in there. You know, they go and pick up a lot of quality plays from Europe. So that's brought exactly. up the league. And he's been there for the last three years. And, you know, a lot of people don't last in the Saudi league for more than a season, to be honest. Um, you know, the door's always in and out. Look at Duke, example. Mm. Last of one season, they got rid of him. Oh, it was mutual termination. So, uh, for him to be there for three years shows that he's got a lot of quality and experience, man. It's a great signing. I think wasn't he, he a, wasn't he a victory just this past season. No, no, prior prior to getting to Saudi Arabia, he was right. a victory. I think three yeah. seasons ago, banana, yeah. Yeah, he's got he's got a shit lot of experience. Um, he's represented the Socceroos as well. So you know, I, I actually think it's a good signing because we needed to uh, sort of bolster that back line with obviously McGowan going out the door. Mm. Um, and not just that, he's obviously delved a little bit further into the centre back role, and he's brought in uh, Johnny Kutumbris from Newcastle as well. I'm assuming that's going to be for more of a backup role. I yeah. assume. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I see. Um, I see Williams fitting in for McGowan. Unless we saw, if we do sign that proper leader centre defence, 
Ah, uh, sorry, center, yeah, center defense. I think he's going to like um, come in for McGowan. But if we don't sign that leader, which we all think we should, um, well, yeah, Williams is going to step in into that, literally in the heart of the defense. Who's uh, who's Royce Williams going to partner with? Oh, it's got to be Ziggy Gordon. It's got to be Ziggy. If we play three five two, it's still got to be Ziggy on his right and probably Taz on his left. Is Ziggy going to play in the three in the back? Is he? He has been. Yeah, he did last season. That's yeah. what we played all season. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, so let's say. If we do go to okay, let's just put, throw some scenarios out there. So if we do stay with three at the back, it will be Ziggy and who else? Ziggy, probably Williams, and probably Taz. Taz, I agree with that. Okay, yeah. And if we go to a back, uh, a flat four. Ooh. Well, Traore is going to have to be the left back. Yeah. And then he might. Yeah. He's going to have to have Reese yeah. Williams yeah. with Ziggy in the center. We forgot about him. We forgot about um, Traore. Traore will be left wing back, I reckon. If we play three four, yeah. If we play no, three, four. Can, play, can play left back. Why can't he play left back? Four at the back, four at the back with um Troy at left back. You got Taz as your 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 left centre back. What's his name? Williams, your your centre back as well, and Ziggy on the right hand side. Yeah, that's what I'm right. Yeah, I agree. That's if we do yeah, four. Right. That's all a hypothetical at the end of the day, boys, because if he plays his usual system, yeah. um, the three five two, that all goes out the window, man. And obviously you're going to have to need fit plays to play that wing-back role. Um, like I feel Traore can play the wing-back role, but I don't know if he's going to give you 90 minutes. That's the thing. That's where yeah. you got Aquilina coming in. What's that? That's where you can put Aquilina coming in last 15, last 20. Nah, Traore, Traore will be giving 90 minutes, but let's not be silly here. He's a 90-minute player, bro. I look at our signings and like, look, we, we got a, we actually have a squad which is good. I, I just, I, I just feel like on paper now. And I know football games not went one on paper, but on paper, our squad last year was a lot more stronger. Um, I think, I think we don't have that spark on paper. Like we're missing that, um, that Kamau, that Duke. I think maybe as a unit we might be more even. Like we're not so reliant on the the Duke or the um, Kamau or whatever. You're trying to say it's, it's more balanced at the moment, maybe. It's more balanced, but on paper it's weaker, if that makes sense. Yeah. I, don't, I don't think he's finished signing. There's no way he's finished signing, man, because at the end of the day, we've had a lot more players that have gone out the door than we've brought in. You know what I mean? So let's let's go into that a little bit now it's, as well. Just, so obviously, just, uh, just, much, just, much just, of... Can I get a word in, Brana? Just calm down. Calm down. Let me get a word in, bro. <laughs> So obviously, uh, uh, much um, has gone out the door as well. He's gone for MacArthur now. Um, they're actually bolstering their squad very good at the moment. They've brought in quite a few players, obviously. Um, so that's a centre midfielder that's gone out the door, and then obviously we've lost uh, uh, Nikolai Muller as well to Central Coast. So have we actually replaced those two players now that have gone out the door? Out of all those players, are we going to miss any? I don't think so. No, I don't think so. Well, which started two games? Yeah. Sorry, not no, Oregon. It's not a big loss, bro. Not a big loss. Yeah, much not a big loss. Not a lot. Not I was right. actually surprised uh, MacArthur brought in much, you know? I I don't think, you know, I was thinking at which point of the season did they sit, watch this guy and say, all right, this guy's a quality player, you know? Yeah. Um, he, what, he started two games, maybe came on three, four games, you know? So... I'm surprised they even picked him up. I would have thought he would return back home, you know, signing mm. just the one new contract. Uh, but I don't think we lose anything there, Stoss. Yeah, great. But in saying that, like, these players have gone out the door. With what? How many players now have we have we signed? In essence, we've signed the, the three that I've just mentioned now. Hamid. Mm. So we've signed four in total, really. I oh, was uh, what's his name? Uh, Majorin. Majorin. Yeah. No, so what have we signed five players? How many players have gone out the fucking door now? I, I don't think I don't think he's done. He's, nah, he yeah, can't be done. Players that are coming in. He can't be done. Yeah. Um, yeah. Boys, I'm just going to throw a scenario out there. Uh, yeah. Let's say six rounds into the season, where two wins, one draw, and three losses. How long do we give him? And he's playing the same system. Are we just going to say, fuck, this is it again? We're going to go for this, another season of this bullshit? But what is it? Got to go. Yeah. Because at this point last year, I was very optimistic. Mm. Um, after what we went through last season, I'm not at all confident going into this season, man. I have no confidence. I have no trust, to be honest. 
Um, so maybe that's maybe you can see from my body language, I'm not too excited about this season because of the letdown of last season. Uh, I'm just hoping we start good, but I, I'm I'm not very confident, man. We started good last season, boss. We were like I think second or top of the league after five games, and then it just fell apart. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I'm I'm saying, yeah if we, we continue playing. from the last bit of last season, mm. the last third, if we continue on that, you know, on that yeah. bit of bad form. Um, how long do we give before we see change? Or do we leave that for another topic, another night? No, no that's, that's a fair question, Boz, because at the end of the day, you're right. Like, everyone's got a stale fucking um, taste in their mouth from last season. And the fact of the matter is he played the same system the whole season. Okay, and we allowed it. We let it go, whatever. Hopefully it was going to change. It didn't change. But we can't go into a whole new season and give him the whole season. No fucking way. He's got to, if he hasn't if he hasn't started this first two three four games and played two different styles two formations or whatever trying different things fuck that he's just going to do the same thing again so for me he's got to go yeah he's got to go he doesn't change it yeah and that's where I, I feel a bit um I feel a bit worried uh, stars because we talk logical right when we talk logic talks so you give a gap for this much time if he doesn't yeah. I don't think the Wanderers management has that logic. They are they are they a ten rounds in? If we're languishing at the bottom, are they going to say, "All right, we need we need change"? Because they've they've shown us fans that they're reluctant to make change in this club. Sure, so I just can. don't want to go through another whole yeah. season of bullshit under the same gaffer. That's sure. all, that's where I'm, that's where my frustrations lie at the moment. Because surely they can't be that dumb, boss, eh? Like, surely they got to see we've yeah. said the same thing for five seasons. No, no. Bro. Surely they can't keep JT. Surely they can't keep JT. And we've seen yeah. the same guy for five seasons, bro. So the club, in mm. terms of confidence in fans, I've lost it all, bro. Because yeah. they've shown us that they don't, they don't know when to make the right decisions at the right time. Yeah. So that's why I'm a bit very, you know, optimistic in, in, in the management at the moment. Um, I'm a bit concerned that if we do start poorly... Is it going to drag through the whole season or not? So that's where I stand at the moment. My 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 biggest worry in regards to this. Ooh, on the club management, hopeless. No, no, like, hopeless. In the sense of Robinson, like where, Robinson, where do you what, what do you give him? I would have got, got rid of him last year, but I don't know why he's just still talking about if we, if he if he's doing shit now. But he's rubbish. He's just rubbish to me. He's just, so if he made changes throughout the season. We'd say, you know what, he's tried things. He might find the right formula. Yeah. But because he had a lack of change, he kept the same thing all season, I have no confidence that he's going to find some solution for our problems, man, because he showed a lack of, um, you know, change, man. So, boss, boss, he went for defensive play with attacking players, bro. Like, where's the logic there, man? So that's why, yeah. boys, we could sort, like, as I said, you know, last year we probably looked better on paper. I'm not going to look into that too much, but you can bring a star-studded team, Stoss. If the gaff is not playing the right way, it won't work, bro. Yeah. It's true. Uh, it's true. I agree. That's, that's where I stand at the moment. Look, I'm, 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 I'm pretty optimistic with Robertson. Probably the most optimistic one. But like on paper right now, I don't. I know. I'm now going to cop it for that. But on paper right now, and I know I'm going to cop it for this severely. Yeah, I'm going to cop it severely. I'm, yes. I'm looking for I'm looking for a positive with our signings and the current squad. Yeah, if we're done, if we're done, and I know I'm scraping the barrel. I, I I see a little bit of similarities between the paper now, like the players on paper now, and I know I know it's going to sound weird, and our season one team. The reason why I say, I know now let me explain. The reason why I say it is I think what? as a unit. What? I think, um, I don't, I'm scraping here. But get him out of the call. Get him. Turn him off, bro. Get him off. <laughs> no, I'll tell you. As a, there's a red <laughs> button there with the telephone. Just do yourself. Right? <laughs> As I press that red button with the bro, telephone. Right right end it. <laughs> what? No, I'll, tell you, I'll try to explain why. Just because, like I was saying before, I think the squad is a bit balanced. I think there's no, like, prima donnas, no one that – I think the, the squad will work hard for each other. That's what I think now. And that's what I think we had in Season 1. Yeah, we had Popovich who was – you know, inspirational, things like that. But I think on paper right now, I think the squad is more balanced. I think they will work hard for each other. But I just, yeah, I don't know if they're done or not. My issue is up front. Because up front, that means we got um, Hemet and we only got a beanie. That's it. And your bowler. Like, mm -hmm. that's, that's the issue. Yeah, banana spray. 
That's my issue. That's my issue up front. I think that's more important than our defence, to be honest. I'll just stop you there one second because this is how ridiculous, ridiculous your statement was just then, yeah? You're comparing season one squad with this squad, all right, player-wise. That's fine. But then think about the comparison between the coaches, bro. You're yeah. comparing Tony Popovich to fucking Carl Robinson, wait, wait. bro. But, yeah, but when you – a Champions League winner, bro. No, nah, he, he didn't win nothing before he came, bro. When he came, he was assistant coach in Crystal Palace. So no, like, no, he's, he's a proven bro. coach, bro. He's now he's good. proven. Now he's proven. That's Season like, one, he wasn't a, that's like comparing Arsenal to fucking Ch Crystal Palace because they have the same uh, team, the bro. Tech, eh? You gotta understand, <laughs> different managers, bro. Different managers achieve different success. It's it's not about the squad. I'm just trying to bring some positivity into it, bro. I, just... oh, I know as are, but you're sounding a bit dumb at the moment, bro. Sorry. <laughs> End of season once we're finished second and one win the grand final. Yeah. Wow. Bro. We'll come back to this. This is on the video now, people. This is on the video. Oh, like this well. is like two months time. <laughs> we'll start together. Make sure people uh let's get our fans to put down what they think, uh, yeah. how they feel about our signings and how confident they are going into the new season, man. Yeah. Absolutely. Right. Everyone, away, like, subscribe, the usual bullshit. Yep. You know the crap. We'll try and jump on a Skype call soon, and I'll watch a few more signings come in. I don't know what the fuck banana's saying, but anyway. <laughs> 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 <laughs>